Hey, we're here at the 2017 ATA. We're at the Killer Instinct booth. We're at the shooting lanes, as you can tell. They've got their new SWAT crossbow, which is their new extremely compact bow. This thing uh, it's got some really cool technology in it. Greg, you want to tell us a little bit about what it's got going on with it? Yeah, um, what we've got is an overall length from front to back 29 inch uh, crossbow. Um, that has a 17 and a half inch power stroke. Um, this is possible due in part to the compression levers that actually conceal the string within the barrel, um, which would be underneath the stock, essentially. Um, and we'll, we'll cock it here and give you a little bit better look at it, uh, exactly how this works. But this bow's got a two and a half pound sniper grade trigger, uh, 385 feet per second. Um, with that extended power stroke, it, is, uh, it stores a ton of energy. Um, it, the downrange accuracy, accuracy of it is uh, unmatched at this point. So. But we'll get a cock here and shoot. I just want to say, too, if you haven't shot one of the Killer Instinct line, um, you need to. I've been, I've been just overwhelmed with everything they put out, and I just can't believe what they've come out with now. I'm really excited to be shooting this thing come this spring. We're going to kill some turkeys. So uh, as a cox possible that's you know in our lineup and the vast majority of them on the market. Um, but as you can see, the string is is all the way back to the you know about an inch and a half or so in front of the buck leg. Um, and that's where these compression levers come into play and it conceals the string within the sack. That's all there is to it. Right. It's a little. It loads a little different too. Um. Yeah, because of uh, we utilize a double barrel or dual barrel system. Um, <clears throat> you actually front load this uh, similar to a mud loader, so right down the pipe. Um, also, with that dual barrel system, the string is free floating. So, uh, with a tra as in a traditional crossbow, you don't. There's no need to apply rail lube or lube the rail um, because the string free floats. Uh, your normal maintenance on the cables is still needed to be done. You want to show them how, to, how that thing loads? Yep. Um, with this design, you're actually going to run your odd color clutching or the cock vein up. And that loads right into the, the back side of the barrel, as you guys can see there. At that point, you're simply going to load it all the way down. You can point the bow in a, a vertical fashion. At this point, you pull the trigger, the bow, even though the bolt's in it, it's not going to fire. Um, the lever here on the rear is, will actually manipulate the anti-drive fire to allow the bolt to fully seat up against the string. And you can, you can hear an audible click, but also it moves about a quarter of an inch, about the length of that knot. So at this point, you can shake it, do whatnot, that bolt is not coming out, it's fully contained. Um, even furthermore, if you look up here with this 22 inch bolt, brought in your fuel tip is completely contained within that riser. <clears throat> now that it's live, it's loaded, um, your, your safety is back here in the rear, ambidextrous, simply push that forward and you can run it fly. Absolutely. As you can tell, that thing's pretty quiet with a lot of impact, and I guarantee you, I've, I've shot all of their bows, and there's no doubt in my mind this thing is, is going to be unbelievably accurate. Very impressed with all their stuff, and, and once again, great job, guys. I mean, it's uh, that's an impressive piece of equipment. Like once again, we're here at the 2017 ATA right. show. We're talking about the scope. And uh, oh, you. Get a, get a yeah, there's one other, talk about a little yeah, bit. one other thing recent that we teamed up with Hawk Optics, um, and we in, are including their XP30 on each and every one of, uh, of these SWATs. We also do have the scope available on another model, our Furious 370 FRT, um, so you can get that upgraded package as well. Um, but here, you know, it's, it's a variable scope, one to five, so that's going to allow you to calibrate specifically for you know, the bolt you're shooting, the exact feet per second of that bolt. 
So no need to guess, you know, what, what your reticle is or do that unnecessary leg work. Simply sight it in at 20, walk her back to 30, get that dead on, and then continue on back out to uh, 100 yards so that that reticle is etched to, um, you know, obviously do some of your fine tuning down range as far as the elevation, but uh, Hawk Optics, killer instinct. For more information, uh, take a look at our website, killercrossbows.com. Catch your breath.